they will understand. I'm sure they understand, you know. Mm. I'm sure they will understand that they can be a hero to save the planet by planting crops for human. Right now, we are short of food. That will be an incentive, okay? That will be something for them to look forward to. Farmer can still be a farmer if they plant vegetables instead of raising animals. If we have enough food, no more strike, yeah? And no more war, people will be happy, peaceful, contented, loving, living next to each other, with each other and with animals. Things will be like heaven. It's not difficult. It's a very simple thing to do. If everybody cooperates, heaven can be realized. It's not that difficult. Just forsake that piece of meat and replace it with a piece of tofu or vegetable protein. You know, we have a lot nowadays. Look beautiful, taste delicious. We have thousands of recipes for everybody to copy free of charge. Yeah? We're even willing to help them to, to show them how to cook even. There's so much food to eat. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Master. Hello. Hello. Um, Master, we are aware that we need to get everyone to be vegetarians to reverse climate change quickly and immediately. However, as it is a slow process to change people's attitude, is it enough to save the planet by just recycling, using the car less? Well, I hope. I wish, I wish that it is, but it isn't, honey. It helps it to some extent, but it's not enough, it's never enough. Of course, from all the scientific facts, from all the reports, we know the cars, the recycling, the garbage, they are not the main cause of global warming. They are not the main polluter of the planet. They are not the, the main cause of killer, yeah? So we know that. It helps uh, some very small degree, yeah? So if you really <laughs> don't believe me, you sit down, make a calculation, yeah? Then you see. Just a little mathematic calculation, yeah? All the costs of uh, deforestation, all the costs of transportation, all the costs of water, all the costs of medicine, all the costs of uh, sickness, yeah? or the cost of building hospital, training more doctors, and making more medicine, and then, uh, you know, making people even cannot think because they are sick, and all the heartache of being sick, and causing trouble for the loved ones by being sick, and then all the trouble or the cost of uh, war because of hunger, because of food insecurity. You add them all together. And uh, all the reservation, you know, as uh, the chief of a UN International Panel of Climate Change said, he said uh, all the refrigerator also, yeah? And all the sickness that go into the body of the animals and then go into you. I'm not talking about karmic retribution yet, okay? I'm just talking scientifically and the evidence physically. Now, vegetarianism is the only solution, it's the best, the fastest solution. 
surprisingly, you know, everybody go around it. Just some few people mention it. The rest just try to go around it. Okay, we recycle. Okay, we use less car. Okay, we go bicycle. Yeah. Uh, okay, we uh, buy a few or whatever. Everybody knows by now. I mean, the people who has a power to know, who has enough communication ability. Nowadays, there are television, radio, newspapers, and even mouthpiece. You know, everyone knows already that vegetarianism is the solution to save the world. But it seems that vegetarianism escaped from the minds of many leaders and the people of the world. So, I don't know what to say anymore. I keep telling everyone, and you also keep telling everyone that you, you know, and you try your best to spread the news. Some people do turn into vegetarian, that's for sure. That's why I have told you we have gained seven months plus for the deadline. Yeah? Like we have gained seven months more to live, <laughs> to save the planet. That's what it is. Yes. But that's not forever, is it? Yes. And it's not fast enough, is it? I would like to have gained seven hundred years, at least, so that we can have time to, you know, catch up with technology and have time to let our Mother Earth rest to restore her health, and then to replenish the abundance of uh, whatever we need in this world. You know how I really want to embrace the leaders and the non-leaders people of this world. Wake up. Wake up now. Wake up, my love. Wake up, my friend. Save yourself.